what's going on guys Zach here welcome to the channel we're down here in the drum room if these look familiar it's because you just watched my last video if you have not seen my last video I did a comparison of this PDP concept and DW performance to see what's truly different about them you can see it here now I had a lot of requests to do a sound clip comparison on these snare drums. And I'll tell you, I did not do it originally because I did not feel it would be fair as this DW is a 14 by six and this PDP is a 14 by five. But I had so many requests and so many people saying they wish that I would have done a sound comparison. Here we are, you're getting, requ you're getting your request. So I'm going to do a low, a mid, and a high tune. So stick around. Let's go ahead. I'm going to start tuning these up, slap them on the kit, and let's hear the differences between this PDP concept series and this DW performance series. What do you think? So I got these in a high tune. We're going to go ahead, we're going to put them on the kit, and let's play in a high tune. Yeah? Hi there. That's my drum key. That's fancy. Watch this. Ready? <gasps> you want to hit it once? Okay. Woo! Yeah! Wow! What about this one? Woo! All right. Oh, you want the other one too? Yeah. All right, here I go. Thank you. We're gonna try this in real time. I spent some time, I got these tuned up at a high tuning right now. On my right, the PDP concept, five inch depth. On my left, is the DW Performance six inch depth. Right now they're cranked up pretty high. But I got them tuned up as close as I could. So I'm gonna turn the snare drums on. I'm gonna do some tests. And then I'm just gonna take each one down a quarter turn We'll play them again, then I'll take them down another quarter turn, and we'll play them again so you can hear the differences. So, snares on, PDP, DW. All right, so now I'm gonna take my drum key and I'm literally gonna take that and I'm gonna lower that a quarter turn all the way 
around. And I know it's not the most scientific, but let's see what happens. Just to check. They're pretty close. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and gonna take a turn down again. I'll tell you what, the nylon lugs on the DW, you can feel the difference turning these versus the PDP, which is just using metal washers against the tension rods. This is still a little bit higher. Let me come down just a hair. So this would be like a low tune. I don't know if they'll go any lower, but let's go ahead. Let's just try it just for fun. All right, turn my snare off. You can definitely hear the difference in that sixteenth depth. I don't know if I can get this any lower to match that.
And that's pretty much as low as I think I'll take that. So basically, I mean, I hope that this kind of helped and I know it's not the most technical way of doing it, um, but it's gonna definitely give you kind of an example and you can definitely hear the difference between the two snare drums. So, you know, I think it's a pretty cool comparison. Uh, you definitely can hear a difference with the depth on the DW and I feel that it can hold the depths a lot better as it got into low tuning versus the PDP. But overall, I think they're both great sounding snare drums. And even if you owned one or the other, I don't think you're gonna have any disappointment between them. So let's just take this back up real quick. If you're questioning how I do my tuning, I start with one lug, I come down to the matching all the way to the bottom, I go over one, and then I go across. I go over, across, over, across. And uh, that's how I get all the way around the drum for myself. So down, over, and across over, across, over, across, over, across, back to the beginning. Now with that said, I personally, I love a snare drum that's cranked up nice and tight. What a difference. I think uh, the DW has a lot less overtones. And these are both using Remo heads. This one is a controlled sound X. This one is an Imperior X. I know they're not the exact same, but they are really close. So I hope this little video helped you. I hope uh, it's good enough for you, but if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching.